Bring it back with quick pickups. Uh, went to Toys R Us and found this really awesome uh, Robocop Battle Damage one. Really, really cool from NECA. Really, really awesome. It's the 25th anniversary as well. The Robocop as well. Really cool. Comes with his uh, tr trademark gun and that really awesome um, fist blade thing that he does to hook on computers. Kind of like R2D2. Really, really freaking awesome. Um, the only thing I really wish is that um, we would, I wish I could find the original non battle damage variant because that was really hard to find in my area for some reason. I went to me like almost all Toys R Us and couldn't find it. And but what you can do, what can you do? Anyway, still got this one pretty cool. It's like the third to last one. And I uh, also went to my trust and flea market where I usually buy most of my stuff. And I bought uh, three of these really awesome Master Universe 2000, 2002 series. Um, got Buzzsaw. He, uh, the guy sold it to me for 10 bucks each one. He's really cool. I mean, he's a really cool guy. He, was, he usually sells these for 20 bucks since we're like buying Master Universe all of them and he give us a discount. 10 bucks for each of them. Got Buzzsaw. Really cool. Got Cyclone. And the uh, the best one out of all these ones probably going to be the Robota. Really, really cool. I don't know why, but the design of this one looks really, really awesome. Really, really cool, really cool. And uh, since we bought three of those, he decided to throw in this uh, Merman for free, which I thought was really awesome. Really cool. I mean, we do have a Merman, but it's uh, some reason this one's like different colors as well. I don't know if you can see it really well. And the last thing we got was uh, Mobile Bird got his own. Master Universe Classics, that's Hordak from the uh, Shiva line. Over, um, leader of the Horde. Really cool. So, yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned until next time. Back again with another pickups, and uh, today I found a lot of cool stuff. I'll start off with the uh, thing, my, with the things my little brother bought at Target. He got this um, Master Chief. Uh, it's a new wave, I think. Looks okay. It looks kind of similar to the other ones, but it's his thing, so there you go. And uh, he also got this really awesome Cobra Commander right here. It's a variant. Here he has a blue one. He got the black one, which looks pretty cool. I kind of like, I'm digging his new look. And I'm kind of upset that they kind of pushed away um, G.I. Joe Retaliation for next year, so that's kind of a downer. But still, the figures are, are really amazing. Same articulation, really cool accessories, so yeah. Uh, I, I think I found the, I think I got the best stuff at at uh, a Walmart, my local Walmart, and I'll start off with the best deal I got there. That's the uh, I got this two pack with Catwoman and um, Batman like gray statue thing or variant for ten bucks, which I thought was a great deal. I mean, I thought they were just kidding me for a moment because like usually like the the clearance aisle isn't really clearance; you just like put a red bar, red tag like that. And fake and fake it it's a uh, clearance but this time really is clearance so 10 bucks so yeah really happy about that really cool and uh, i also found i was really excited today because i also found the um the rest of the rest of these rest of these things right here i got i got the rest of the way of the avengers which i really needed i got um hawkeye right here really cool been looking for this guy for a while and um i heard great reviews from it except the one downfall is like an arrow Except uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I'll have trouble with that because I have a lot of G.I. Joe arrows that go match along with this, so pretty happy about that. Really cool, can't wait to uh, put it on my display. Also got the uh, non-helmet Thor, which looks really cool. Definitely like this head sculpt a lot more than the previous movie one. But I do agree with people, I kind of wish they had like the, like, the, like the wash on his armor. Not sure if I'm going to do a head swap or not, but still looks really cool, really awesome. Glad I got him. Also got the uh, really awesome Loki with the with removal helmet and the scepter right there. Really, really cool. He's the, he's the only villain on in this whole wave, so um, I don't know. I'm so happy I really got him. Really, really cool. And uh, I was really surprised today because I did mention I got a Hulk uh, at a flea market one time for 20 bucks. And I got another one right here. Let me tell you, this figure is really awesome. This is one of my favorite Hulk figures of all time. It's very articulated, very cool, very awesome. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to trade it off, and I'm going to trade it for some figures I really needed. I really need. I need the um, like like either variant of the Ghost Rider from the first wave of Return of the Marvel Legends with the blue or 
or red variant. I don't care as long as it comes all complete with the Terax Army because I really want to complete that. And if uh, and if you guys don't have that, then I guess um, just uh, you can try to offer me other stuff to, for, to get this guy right here. I know he's a little bit hard to come by, and I got real lucky with finding the second one. So if you guys really want to trade for this guy, just uh, just uh, PM me or write me or write down below. I don't know, just uh, just make me an offer. If not, I'm really looking for like uh, like I mentioned, either Ghost Rider variants with the Terax arms, and um, perhaps like the big time Spidey with the black and green suit, or I don't know, anything cool you guys can uh, can find. So yeah, so if you want to trade for this one, just PM me or you know just just uh, message me down below. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm back in really quick pickups. I went to a Goodwill, and I only found two 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 uh, two items, and I'll show you right here. And that's uh, two PS1 games for 50 cents each. For I got for I got both of them for a dollar actually. First one we're gonna start off with a uh, what's it called? Block Kids. It's pretty cool. I mean, it has the booklet and, and the game, and the, the game's in okay shape. I can always get take a disc replay, you know, take off the scratches and all that stuff. I also got uh, this game called uh, Need for Speed, like one of the original Need for Speed for the PS1 right there. Pretty cool. Only got two games. They're both in good conditions. This one's kind of chipped from right here, but that's that's okay. I mean, so yeah, that's really cool. Two PS1 games for a dollar. And uh, I guess the best finds I got today was basically at Walmart. Got this Catwoman Batman Legacy figure for about five bucks, which is a really good deal. Uh, she was the last one I tried finding for another Batman, but uh, no luck on that. So yeah, five bucks in back for that. But the best one I got today was basically this uh, the Armor of Omens, which is a Thundercats figure. Just a really cool looking, um, I don't know, I guess armor for Lino or. Even though he actually, even though his ancestor was the one that actually used the arm in the show, not sure if he's gonna use it, but it comes with a, like a golden three and three quarter inch lino right there. Really cool. Really digging the, the look. Looks kind of like a Digimon to me. It reminds me of War Greymon. And of course, the uh, Sword of Woman's right there. Ten bucks seemed bad, especially when it went for twenty three ninety seven. I remember seeing this when it first popped out. It really was that price. But yeah, it looks really cool. I mean, it even has electronics right here. Electronic, uh, electronics uh, can fit the little three and three quarter inch line now. The thing about this figure is not really articulated, but that's why I got it for ten bucks. Uh, the box is a little bit messed up. I'm guessing that's why this was the very last one. But still got lucky with that. I'm gonna open it anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned until next time. Back in with another pickups and we got like a substantial amount of stuff. So I'll start off with those, with the cool deals I got at Walmart. I got this really awesome Speedy. Uh, Need the corn figure from a uh, Injustice cancel line. It uh, only cost me a dollar. I know it said seven, but no wonder this was like the last one there because I couldn't find any other ones. So I decided to scan it to check it out, and it was like a dollar, so I couldn't pass that up. It's so really really cool. I got this guy for a dollar, and he comes like a like a like a set. We had to put, like a collect and connect for the Hall of Justice. So yeah, that was pretty cool. A dollar ain't bad, and he's like my favorite one too, so I couldn't pass that up. And I did mention in the previous video how I had like a uh, Catwoman for five bucks. Now I found a Batman for five bucks. It's pretty weird because like uh, like three days before uh, I found the Catwoman, and then like uh, three days later I found this guy for five bucks. He was also the last one. I couldn't pass it up. I mean, I really want to give him like a. We want to pay. Want to have like one with the with the pink gloves, you know, for the comic book accuracy, and another one just to paint black or something. I really don't like the uh, the gloves that much. Just really weird. I'm more used to Batman with the black gloves, but yeah, that's why I bought it for five bucks in there. So then I also went to this place called Comic Carnival. It's, uh, it's a little bit further than the place uh, where I was. I remember it was one that used to be around here that got shut down. So I decided to go, uh, we go to our comic book shop in there. So we bought this really awesome um, Street Fighter uh, uh, Hero Clicks, and we got really cool, this really cool one right here. We got Bison. It was only three bucks, two ninety nine. Really cool. I really like how it has like this, uh, like cycle power effect right there. Really, really cool. I mean, you can see like a full three sixty right there. It also came with like a little card. Okay, that was it. I mean, not it, but that's pretty much it for this little NECA thing. Uh, Hero Click. It's made by NECA as well. But the um, we made, we found this really cool figure over there. We found Power Girl. For our DC Universe collection, really cool. I'm really trying to build up the Justice Society of America, so that's why I kind of 
you had to get her. She was only like 18 bucks, so that was a good deal. So yeah, that was it for the Comic Carnival. Then we also went to the, uh, the mall was right by there. Well, a little bit further than there. And got these really awesome figures right here. We got these, uh... I remember a long time ago, my little brother got this Sub-Zero figure, so... My, my little brother wanted to get this really awesome Raiden. Looks really, really cool for, uh, $12.99 at FYE right here. And I found my favorite one, Scorpion. Now, the funny thing is, uh, I was one figure away from completing the whole first wave. And, uh, we were hesitant of getting the, um, the giant cage for, uh, I mean, it was $12.99, so we decided not to. And luckily, in the next place, which was, uh, TJ Maxx, we found the, uh, <laughs> we got very lucky and got the, um, the giant cage right here. It was the last one. I tried looking for more other figures, but not, but we couldn't find any of them. And it was like, uh, three bucks less. It was $9.99. The box is a little bit messed up. I'm going to open it anyway. The figure's in good condition. They come with the, all the interchangeable hands right there. So I thought it was really, really cool. So we saved three bucks and uh, it always pays off to be patient. But the, we also found a lot more cool stuff for there. We found another uh, assault, air, air assault drone for our army building drones from the Iron Man 2 movie. Pretty cool. We got it for six dollars right here. That ain't a bad deal. Really like these drones a lot. They're really cool. I definitely got to buy more of those. If I see any more of them like around that pay price, I'll buy them. I also found this really awesome, um, what's it called? I know it's a war machine, uh, artillery armor war machine. It looks really, really cool. Uh, the re reason I really like this one because it has like the really, really like big Gatling gun. It has like a huge missile launch here. And I also like the paint, the repaint on it. it looks really cool. I decided to pick it up. I mean, same price as the, the assault drone. So I decided to pick it up. So really cool. And also, it's a di the different wave too. You can tell by the packaging. And uh, my, little bro my little brother of the Serious Man got this really cool uh, uh, symbiote Spider-Man suit. Really cool. Uh, this was only like eight dollars. That was a really great deal. But I, I don't know. I just really like this suit. It looks really cool. My little brother beat me to it, so. But the best part we got today was it was really awesome. Sentinel Prime for. Twenty four ninety nine. I don't know if the price tag is the right mm -hmm. there. So yeah, this was the best deal we found all day. We found a lot of cool stuff today, but I think this takes the uh, the, the cake because look at uh, it's a leader class. It's twenty five, and places around here still sell it for around fifty forty bucks. So couldn't pass this up. Complete good condition. I don't know, this was definitely the best uh, found, uh, find we found today. So hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned until next time. Back in with another pickups and we got a lot of stuff today so um, let's get to it. Uh, I went to my local Walmart and only found one, um, one, one item which was really cool. It was only a dollar and that was the uh, Walmart exclusive Kid Flash. I, you can barely see it because of the tag right there because it said one dollar. It was the last one got lucky with it. Last time I got Speedy I tried looking for other ones but yeah, this guy is still pretty cool. So yeah, a dollar. Ain't a bad deal. Then I went to a Marshalls and I found some really cool figures there. I got a Carnage. Really cool from the Spider-Man 6 inch line from, from like the... Uh, I know it's been a while but it looks pretty cool though. I really like this Carnage because it reminds me of like the um, Toy Biz articulation. It's got articulation with the fingers and the feet. You know, just really cool so I really wanted to pick this guy up. He was a $7.99 which is basically 8 bucks. It's so really cool. Uh, I also got this uh, black suit Spider-Man. It's not the one with the armor. It's like a, a different one. I think it's the exact same mold, but it has a, like a different paint deco, which looks really cool. It has a shiny uh, metallic blue around it, so it looks really awesome. Same price. Also picked it up at Marshalls. But uh, I got a lot of cool stuff at uh, TJ Maxx. I found this really awesome war machine from the Iron Man, the Armored Avenger line. It was it's not the Iron Man 2 line anymore, so. The cool thing about this is that it's very movie accurate and you can also turn on the, the arc reactor. Really cool. So it's a different one. And it doesn't have that, that, that oversized Gatling gun like the uh, first one did. So yeah, I got it for $5.99, 6 bucks, which is really cool. And uh, I was also really happy to get this guy, the uh, Krona, which is a bad guy from, from, um, from the Green Lantern movie. It was before he became the Parallax guy. Really cool. Um, 
I didn't really want to. I saw this guy for about 12 bucks a while ago, and I didn't want to pick it up because it's a pre disappointing figure. I only wanted for the piece, but I, luckily I found my TJ Maxx for 3.99. Well, I was hoping to find the rest of the way, but not, they didn't have it, so all I had just this guy. Still, 3.99 is a bad deal for this, for this guy. So yeah, got that TJ Maxx. Then uh, my older brother got himself this Obi Wan Kenobi Transformers Star, uh, Jedi Starfighter. For uh, seven bucks on clearance, which is really cool. And uh, he also picked up another Human Alliance uh, Roadbuster for thirteen dollars. Really cool. We reopened one of these. It's really cool. And he also has that official NASCAR sticker right there. That was all we got at TJ Maxx, but we also went to our local flea market where we get a cool stuff. So I started off with the uh, Star Wars items we got. Uh, we bought like four figures, which are really cool. And uh, he decided to sell us uh, each of them five bucks because you know we're like uh, we're like frequent customers there. So he gave us this old Obi Wan for a dollar. I mean, not a dollar, five bucks. <laughs> that would have been crazy for five, for a dollar, but five bucks each and really cool figure. It's the old Obi Wan, and it's um, I used to collect these um, this uh, th this line when I was a kid. So really cool. Uh, we also got the uh, episode three Obi Wan right there, very articulated for five bucks as well. So that was really cool. And it also comes with this really awesome holographic. Uh, I don't know who that is actually. That's a Obi Wan episode two Obi Wan. Um, also got this uh, another old Obi Wan which looks really cool. Has this little um, flashback photo thing. You just pull it down there and he's episode one Obi Wan, episode four Obi Wan. Really cool. And uh, I think the lightsaber is removable. Five bucks as well. The coolest one we got out of the bunch is probably going to have to be this Darth Maul right here. I like this uh, repaint deco. It looks really cool. I really like it. It was also five bucks as well. Really cool. I mean, it shows you his ac action gimmick right there. Just to uh, twist his little knobs on his back and he spins his lightsaber. Really cool. And uh, my little brother, AK Mandalore, got himself a little Mighty Mug. Which was a Ventri Asajj Ventress, really cool. Uh, he likes to collect a lot of Mighty Mugs. He also got it for like 10 bucks at the flea market. But the coolest thing we got from the Star Wars booth is that we got this really old vintage, uh, I forget which year, but it's from, let me see if I can find the date. From 1979, an old Boba Fett, really cool. Uh, fortunately, it's incomplete, but we got it for ten bucks. I mean, he has this removable uh, uh, scout scouter or something like that. Really cool. They can also three, see through that little hole right there, so you can see through his visor right here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but really cool. It's a uh, fairly articulate for a '70s figure, or, or, or like yeah, basically a '70s figure. Really cool. He doesn't come with the gun or a jetpack, unfortunately. That's why I gave it. He uh, sold it to us for ten bucks. That was really awesome. I guess the best thing we got today was the uh, first issue Skeletor. Now, I am starting to get into Master Universe Wave, and uh, unfortunately, I don't have. Uh, I finally got this. Unfortunately, I finally got this uh, really cool Skeletor figure. And the reason you can tell it's the first issue because the one the package is it's a little made in 2008. I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, it also has that, op that left. Uh, open hand which means it's, it's the first issue and the reissue has a closed hand or um, not closed hand but like a more uh, holding hand which is really cool so I got this guy definitely gonna add to my Master Universe collection and uh, hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned until next time